Hi, this is Sridhar. Today I am going to explain you about the regular expression available in Oracle SQL. Normally you will be using the percentage symbol as one of the um, like if you want to find any name ending with a particular character or if you want to find any name starting with the character say for example the last name if you want to find the last name starting with the uh, character A then you will be writing li it like select star from employees where last name like within single quotes within single quotes you will be writing like this where last name like like G percentage if you give like this all the G uh, all the last names start with G will be displayed but assume if you have a complex uh, find complex uh, expression you want to find for example if you want to find a phone number whose phone number ends with a four digits you want to find the phone number whose phone number ends with the four digits see for this here the phone number ends with a six digit and here for this in this case the phone number ends with again same six digit the rest of the numbers or ends with four digits but still we have some more phone numbers because the employee database employee table has 106 records so the remaining phone numbers or ends with four digits so if you want to find in those cases the regular expression will be used now in this section we will be discussing about the regular expression like and we have regular expression like regular ex expression substring to find the substring and regular expression replace if you want to replace a string and regular expression count how many characters if you want to find a single character in the given string then you can find out using regular expression underscore count and regular expression in string also to find the position of the given character for this you need to know about these these regular regular expression if you are giving any number within curly braces then it means matches m times if you are giving m comma within curly braces then it means matches at least m times at least means at least m times it may be more than that also if you are giving same if you are giving m comma n then within the curly brace then it means matches at least m times but not more than n times it means greater than m greater than or equal to m and less than or equal to n and if you are giving the caret symbol it means the first character in the given string but if you are giving the same caret symbol that is a power symbol inside a character class inside the square brackets then it means it's negating the condition for example if you are giving a to x for any name for any character which is in between a to x a minus x means a to x if you are giving within the square brackets then it means any name which starts with a to x and if you are giving the power symbol in front of that then it means it is negating this condition negating means name that does not start with that do not start with a to x so the remaining y and z will be displayed and any digit if you want to mention any digit then you can give either slash d or within square brackets you can give digit or within square bracket you can give 0 to 9 any number if you are giving 0 to 9 within the square bracket it means any number any digit and if you are giving slash w means any word and plus means any character or number satisfying the previous condition if you are giving like this say for example here if you are giving plus symbol then you are satisfying the previous condition so any number 0 to 9 occurs any number of times so plus means any number occurred any number of times and if you are giving any condition within the parenthesis then it means you are grouping forming a groups say for example within parenthesis if you are giving slash d slash d means any digit and within curly brace if you are giving 3 3 means it matches any digit occurred for at least 3 times not at least you didn't give comma here simply you are giving 3 so it means matches 3m times that is matches 3 times slash d within curly brace 3 means any digit for 3 times 
and within parenthesis if you are giving slash w then it means uh, any word let me execute one by one all these statements see for example the first statement is you are finding a regular expression whose phone number is phone number normally the phone number is first three characters three digits dot three digits dot four digits dot sometimes the phone number looks like three dot two dot four dot six six number of digits but here i want to display zero to nine within curly brace three within curly brace three means i want to display first three digits again zero to nine within curly brace three so three digits dot three digits dot zero to nine within curly brace four it means four digits so if you enter you will be getting like this output here you are getting the the details of the employees whose phone number is three digits dot three digits dot four digits all the phone numbers phone numbers will be like this the same statements you can also re rephrase it as within square brackets colon digit instead of 0 to 9 you can give like this within square bracket two square bracket you can give colon digit as i mentioned here any digit can be represent slash d either slash d or 0 to 9 or within square bracket you can give digit so in this way also you can write it so here i am giving again within curly braces three three number of digits and here also three number of digits and here also any digit three number of digits if you execute we will be getting the same output let me check how many rows are there 71 rows for this one also you will be getting the same 71 number of rows got it and the same can be rewritten in this way also the square brackets digit close square bracket this can be re, re, rephrased as slash d slash d means any digit within calibrates three three digits slash d again within calibrates three three digits slash d within calibrates four means four digits if you execute this you will be getting the same result 71 number of rows got it and if you want to display whose last name starts with a e i o u don't think that it's a vowel uh, the last name whose first character is either a e i o or u so the last name first character should be any one of the dig digits so if, as you know that if you are giving inside the character class only one will be replaced so the last name either it should be a or it should be e or it should be i or o or u so the first character of the last name should be any one of these alf vowels so again we are getting we got the result and here you have given colon that is if you are specifying individual characters a e or y o or u the individual characters then you will be giving colon within square brackets and if you are giving a range of characters a to c or a to d then in that case you can simply give it like this no need to specify colon symbol within square bracket you can give a to c means the last name whose first character means you have to give power symbol here the first character of the last name should be either from a to c the last name first character is either a to c from a to c any characters from a to c the power symbol represents the first character and here the power symbol represents the first character first character is a to x it is any character ranging from a to x but if you give the power symbol here within inside the character class if you are giving power symbol inside the character class as i mentioned here it will negate it will negate the condition the condition will be negated it means it will act as opposite so it will display the last name whose first character is not a to x so if you execute the last name first character is z 
the next one regular expression whose phone number is the first character the power means first character is colon 0 that is only 0 again ending colon ending square bracket so the first character will be starting with 0 and any number of numbers if you give the first digit will be 0 the phone number whose first digit is 0 will be displayed here and the next one here you will be getting slash d and within curly brace i have given 5 comma 5 comma means at least 5 digits 5 comma let me check it once again 5 comma m comma means matches at least m times at least m times it may be more than that also so 5 comma means at least 5 digits will be there and dollar dollar means it will be ended it will be ending with 5 digits at least 5 digits the phone number ending with at least 5 digits so 6 digits will be displayed here there is no 5 digit phone number ending with the 5 digit phone number so 6 digits will be displayed here if you give exactly 5 then no rows will be if you give 5 then also we are getting the same result the last one for the last name the last name first character is A and the remaining characters we have grouped either it may be I or it may be O or it may be H so you can give pipeline symbol also the same this uh, you can get the output and the same output you can get it using character class also within character class you can give I O H but the parenthesis is another option inside the parenthesis you can give pipeline symbol either I O or H the second character is either I, O or H and grouping all these any one of the characters will be substituted as a second character so K is the first character and that's all about regular expression like next we will see regular expression substring in the next session thanks for watching